is or your question is. So the first thing you can do is dojo your homeroom teacher. Um, that would be between you and just your teacher. Um, but you need to allow for 24 hours uh, for them to get back to you. So if it's something urgent, I wouldn't suggest using this method, but um, they may respond quickly. Um, the second thing you can do uh, is email your teacher through my learning, which um, there is a video on how to do that. Um, any first grade teacher may be able to respond to you, um, but you need to wait an hour for a response from them. Um, but that should be one of the quickest ways and probably one of our main ways of communication during this distance learning. And then finally, for uh, emergency purposes, if you have dojo to your homeroom teacher and you have messaged on my learning and it's been an hour and you haven't gotten a response back, go ahead and call. Um, but you'll not call your homeroom teacher. We have a schedule um based off of the time so let's say you have a problem at 3:45, you'd go to the time 3 30 to 5 o'clock and you'd call miss davis you go to my phone number and that would be the number you'd call even if you're in miss colpin's class or miss mcandrew's class um, it's all based off of the time and miss davis we'll send this out to families they don't have to worry about writing this all down right absolutely okay all right. Well, I will get off. Okay. Um, okay. Do you, so I'm going to go through as if I'm a student, correct? We, we're going to do that next. Okay. So families, um, starting tomorrow, the course will be um, ready to be logged in and you'll actually have coursework for your child there. What I'm going to start to do is I'm going to log in as my son who is a first grader. And I'm just gonna show you kind of what it will look like. I'm gonna do the best that I can. And then Mr. Houck's gonna jump on and kind of walk you through the, the view that we have, but some of the similarities of what your child will see. So bear with me one second. Let me share my screen. I'm movie off. Okay. So when your child logs into My Pasco Connect, and I know a bunch of us, if not all of us, sent out messages to all of you to make sure that your child can get logged in before tomorrow, because if they can't, we can try and troubleshoot that before tomorrow. Now, when they get logged in, they're going to see, they're going to log in with their lunch number and that crazy password, and then this is what they're going to see, and they're going to come here and click My Learning. Once they click my learning, starting tomorrow, their course will appear right here under the dashboard. Right now, there is no course there, but this is what the main screen will look like, and it will probably say like first Sanders first grade course, and you will click that. That's as far as I can go now, because as you can see, the coursework isn't there, but Mr. Houck's going to jump on and kind of walk you through the content and academics behind what your children will have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna stop my screen. Okay, so I'm going to show you my screen where you will be able to see what your student's course will look like. So once you have gone into the course, it will say grade one, Sanders Memorial, and you will see these four buttons. These four buttons here are going to be the basically what you will need to focus on when you scroll down you will see what you will need to do every day now the district is looking at this by the week so you have some flexibility with the days that you complete it but this is the recommended um, schedule and, and the teachers have messaged out specifics about when things are due but tuesday for example you might notice that module five pretest is done one thing i want you all to notice is that when it says module five pretest or lesson one and problem set for math when you go on to learn which is where all of the videos and assignments and quizzes are and you go to week one 
it might seem like you have six science assignments to do right now. In reality, if you looked back at the schedule, all you have to do is the pretest. So it's a little confusing if you look at it from here. Make sure that you have maybe on a different screen or you have printed out the pace chart, which is what I just showed you over can here. Have, can I jump in for one second? Um, we have like a mentor teacher for Florida Virtual School who's this is how they teach every day and they have created a week by week checklist that looks exactly what's on your screen with check boxes, which all of the teachers will send out to you and you can print that out. That's what I'm going to do for my first grade son. And every day that he works, he's going to check off. Okay, I completed the module five pretest. I completed math lesson one and problem set. I com completed the ELA main topic and key details. So you'll have access to that and you'll be able to print that out for your child and, it, and they're used to scheduling their day and checking off things that they've done. We're really lucky in that respect. So I just wanted to jump on, sorry, Mr. Hauk to cut you off, but I just wanted them to know that they'll have that as well. Thank you. Um, so you would just skip past that um, tomorrow and go to week one. And then like Ms. Pinio said, use that tool to pick out the specific assignments that you're supposed to do that day with your child. And I will give, I'll stop sharing and give it back. Okay, I'm just unmuting Mrs. Lydell somehow she's. All right, and I think I am sharing my screen for this one for Ms. Lydell. It's not letting me. My, okay, I'm unmuted now. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I don't know what happened. So we just wanted to um, let you guys know that the, this Facebook page, the Sanders Elementary class, um, we're gonna be communicating with you through there. Um, and we will be called the, the Sanders teachers. So that's how we'll be able to respond to you guys. So I know that there's a lot of information out there and um, you know, what you've heard or what someone else has heard, you guys might be able to um, answer each other's questions if one of us doesn't respond first. So we wanted to make sure that this was a platform that we can all see and all answer each other's questions on as well. So feel free to put your questions in there. We're also going to um, try and have all the students Zoom together because I know that they're missing all of their friends. So we thought that would be fun um, for them to be able to connect with each other. We are still a school family. Um, we are still your teachers. Uh, you may not just be, you know, Ms. Colpin's student anymore. You are all of our, our students now, and we're really excited about that. And parents, the same way, we're here to support you in any way that you need, all eight of us. Um, mm -hmm. go, so go ahead and go to your chat. And I want you to send a send us a emoji of how you guys are feeling about starting tomorrow and you know what's what's going on with you. Let's see what we got. Oh, someone is just so excited. They're happy. The Facebook page. Um, yep. I'll, can you screen share that page again, Abby? Yes. I just sent the link too. Okay, good. it looks like everybody is just so excited. I'm Woo sure that you're like my family. You're ready just to like start, whether you're overwhelmed or anxious or however you're feeling, like let's just start this already, right? Um, I started with my kids today and they were like, you're not my teacher. And I'm like, oh, yes, I am. <laughs> so we have kids too and uh, we, we feel you and we're here for you. Um, this is just going to be a growing process for everybody. So um, give yourself grace. Make sure whenever you get frustrated, that's a great time to take a break. And maybe you don't finish math that day and you just do it tomorrow. That's okay too. Sometimes whenever we have that lesson that doesn't go over well, we just stop what we're doing. We go and do something else and then we regroup and start again the next day. So um so just, just remember that whenever you guys are getting overwhelmed or you have so many questions, but 
We are 100% here for you. And we're excited because this is the first time ever that this is happening. And to be honest, our students were built for this. Everything that we do involves technology. I mean, we could not ask for a, you know, a better scenario for us. So I hope that that gives you guys a little bit of motivation and you're feeling excited and a little bit okay. You're all looking like this. Mm, I don't know. You can said you're on? happy, but I can see you. <laughs> can I jump on real quick? Yeah. I just checked the, some of the other things we wanted to discuss and I know we're super excited to see parents. So I'm going to share my screen one more time. I just wanted to show, um, the reading course. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, hello. Okay. So I'm going to click learn and this is where the students will as well. I'm going to jump down like Mr. Huck was saying, I'm going to go to ELA. Um, and each day for ELA, they have one lesson and a quiz. Uh, and it, you can see it says 8.1. So that's what the students will be completing tomorrow. And I'm just going to bring you there real quick. It's very engaging um, and interactive. And I, I'm kind of excited about it. So this is the screen that they will see when they log in. For each lesson, if you click my progress like I'm going to do, you will see that there's like 13 slides. Now it's not just reading alone, it's also builds in the phonics. Um, and so it's teaching them those skills on how to read, not just reading to learn, but also learning to read. You know you're done when you've reached slide, I call it slide, but box 13. And at the end of the lesson, if there is a quiz, the only way to get to that quiz is to come all the way to the bottom of your screen and you'll see the next box. So you won't access the quiz at the top where the other arrows are. I'm going to get off of that, not through this way, but through the bottom of the actual My Learning site, which is here. And if you click next, Tomorrow, the quiz will be there um, and your, your child will be able to complete it and then submit it. This is, I hope that makes sense to everyone. And as we were saying, if you get, have questions or you're confused, you're going to reach out to any one of us and we will help you navigate through. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention. The other um, piece of advice or information, excuse me, not advice, on this schedule down here, they do yeah. not have math every day, but we want them to practice math for a little bit at least every day. So as you can see Wednesday here, there's no math. So your teachers are going to um, assign your child Zern, and they're going to be working from a new module, module five. Module five is a very short module. It teaches them shapes and fractions and time, very basic. So we, on the days they don't have math, we want them to log into Zern and that will be their math for that day. Okay, if you have any questions, you can go to the chat and ask. And the only other thing that I wanted to announce is with the math, there are lessons, um, great lear uh, learning videos there. A lot of those learning videos we have actually used within our own classrooms, but they're also made um, for the students to do a, a couple of problems. Um, they're also there where you may have to kind of um, jump in and uh, assist or guide Mrs. Pangburn. Did, Ms. Pangburn, did you want to talk to that? Um, sure. Um, I was just thinking when they do the videos, they the person who does the video kind of shows them what to do first and then they have them practice with them and then they have it try them try it on their own. And a lot of times kids, if they're doing it on their own, they will skip the step of watching somebody do it, learning how to do it, and then practicing with them. They just want to rush to the end. So just kind of sitting with them maybe through the first couple of videos and guiding them with how to pause the video, work through it, have a whiteboard or some, you know, a um, piece of paper, anything you have. So that way they can practice and do it at the same time because they're used to small group. Okay. Um, I think that was really it. 
as far as anything that any of the other teachers want to share. It's not letting me unmute Miss Colpin for some reason. And <laughs> She's unmuted. She is? Okay. I'm here. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, there is a raise your hand feature on Zoom. If you look at the participants, it's like two people side by side. Um, there's a feature on there that you can raise your hand. So if you have a question and you don't want to type it and you just want to ask, or maybe we're not explaining something well and you'd like to clarify something, if you just want to raise your hand, um, we can answer your question for you. Uh, with what Ms. Pinio was saying about um, the reading, the, the reading lessons, it's actually structured on the schedule. I just want to clarify that it's read the passage. The next day they have the quiz. It says Tuesday. Oh, sorry, Mr. Hogg. So it might be that way on other days. And I think Ms. Pinio was thinking of that just because um, this week we're starting off slowly, like she mentioned with the math, two lessons for four days because we want you to get used to it and we want, like the district wants us to, you know, iron out all of the details and get us used to it. So uh, I talked to a parent about like, if you want to do the quiz right after you read it because it's fresh in their mind, then um, go ahead because like Ms. Pino said, that makes sense to take the quiz right after you do the reading. Um, so however, I think somebody in the, um, chat was saying is there a schedule and that kind of thing like you really um, choose how you're going to work with this like structure your day for what works for your child and if you need to you know take more time to do something or go ahead then um, do that it's it, yeah um, there were a couple of questions like what time do they need to start in the morning there is no uh, exact time when to start it's really whenever you, it works with your schedule in your life and if you feel like one day there's a lot going on with your family and you can't get to everything or barely anything that is completely fine they can just make it up on another day or if one day they want to do extra work like they did some of Tuesday and Wednesday on Tuesday that's totally fine too teachers correct me if I'm wrong I think all the work has to be submitted by Sunday of that week right yes Correct. And I think they have to log in every day to my learning to count for attendance, correct? It's not logins, it's um, their work submitted. Because if they log in and they don't do anything, okay. then it doesn't count as they're here. It counts as they're here if they do the work. So, meaning like the reading log every day? The reading log and the PE log, from what I understand, they submit weekly. Does anyone else? Okay. So they're going to print that out fill it out and then you're going to take a picture of it and you're going to submit it onto Canvas. If you and that is on Friday, correct? The reading log and the PE log. Everything else is due Sunday, but those two things are due on Friday. Good question, Abby. I think so. <laughs> I believe that I believe that is what's required. But not for this week. This week just a reading log, but PE will start next week. All of specials will start next week. Yes, if you look at the schedule, we have Friday, it says reading log week one. So is this, um, is this Ainsley's mom? Everything is due by Sunday? Yes. That might be more accurate. <laughs> Everything is due by Sunday, yes. <laughs> okay. um, the other question that we're getting, um, teachers that we didn't, I'm not sure that we came to a first grade consensus, was that checklist that we're going to give out, the PEAK, mm -hmm. how did we want to convey that with parents so they can print it out? What would be the easiest way to print that out? Or maybe... Um, Are you talking about the one that Mrs. Steph emailed us, like the checklist? Okay. Okay. Can we upload it to our class story on Dojo as files? We probably can um, email the checklist. That's a good idea too. We just want to make it easiest on you guys. So we will get back to you on that, on how we think it'll be the easiest for you as a parent to be able to, you know, print it out from Dojo or email, whichever one would be 
print would be easier to print it. And if you don't have the ability to print, then I believe like for um, one of the assignments, I believe you can just, there's a way to like, if you click submit assignment, there's file upload, you can type in comments. Um, I don't think. The PE and the reading log, I believe they come up as Word documents. So you should just be able to type it in, save it, and then send it at the end of the week. Yeah. So you don't need to have a printer to be able to um, do that. We're not going to count off if you don't have a printer. So. So we have a question though. Someone said, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. I heard two things. We have to submit certain things daily and things are due by Sunday and is flexible. Which is it? Flexible. Everything is due by Sunday. So well, we also said they have to have attendance. So are we saying that their attendance, as long as they submit everything on Sunday, that's their attendance? At least so we do the attendance on Monday the following week. So well, as long as they are active. Okay. So I hope that clarified. If not, can you write a, a question in the chat so we can help you? Okay, so your attendance. It is your work completed. So if you've completed your work on Sunday, then that is your attendance. So in your daily log, it's just going to be that, um, like your daily reading log, we want to see that daily you guys are reading, just like we expected you to do whenever they were with us. You're just reading with them daily and you're just vlogging it. That's all that it's expected. Right? Someone asked, is that 20 minutes or 30 minutes? 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. We are because we're trying to get them ready for second grade and it's close. So for Miss Walker, I believe everything's due Sunday. So the question for Friday for the reading log and PE, I think you have until Sunday to turn it in. Yeah. But it's for that week. And we'll send out some more tips and just reminders because this is a lot of information and now yeah. it's a lot of I think or let me clarify. So we'll send you guys some bulleted points with just, you know, some reminders. But like we said, just remember that, you know, take it slow this week and we're going to do the same thing, you know, figuring everything out from our end. Um, you know, we're, we're doing, we're sharing with you guys what we think that we know and then clarifying that. So um, how many minutes for PE? I think it said 30 minutes. I pulled up the log because I was curious. And I was literally going to have my son go swimming. So, and then log it. Yes, I have the log right in front of me. It's 30 minutes. Yep, have an adult sign their initials next to each day that you complete 30 minutes. And then you can ride your bike, shoot hoops, jump rope, go for a family walk. Swimming is great, Mrs. Ms. Pangburn, yep. <laughs> it says, what about testing, math, and reading? Um, there's quizzes built on through the My Learning that you'll be completing. And then there'll be more information coming about um, our reading that we're going to be doing with your child. So I think that that one was asking. And we'll oh, I'm getting the call too. The district school is calling. I'm, Someone just said, I'm getting it too. <laughs> Bay, Bay News 9 just said school is out until May 1st. Someone just wrote that on here. So you'll have plenty of time to get used to this. <laughs> you guys will all be experts by the end of this <laughs> another parent would like to know is, will there be any synchronous instruction during the week that's one thing that we are still figuring out yeah um they have the district have has given us all of this course material to work with and it is just not what we are used to. So um, we are figuring out our way through what we are required to do. And this week, I'd say probably not. But based off of how this week goes, we will see whether we can do small groups throughout Zoom based off of kids who need some extra support from the teacher. Or if we need to do a whole, a whole group Zoom call, um, but that's just one thing that we're trying to figure out along with you and we just need to live through it before we make any definite decisions. Yep. Yes. 
Okay. Any other <laughs> questions? Ms. Kaiser is going to run my live lessons, I see. So thank you. <laughs> Perfect. If you could also do mine, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Okay, well, parents, I think that that's all that we have for you. I hope this was a little bit helpful. And if not, at least you got to see us for a little bit. And that's really exciting. <laughs> Unmute everyone. Okay, you can all talk now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. We want to see our kids. Where are our kids? We want to see them. Amy, you want to come see Ms. Slidell? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do I see your teacher? Oh my gosh, this is great. Where are you? Oh, hi. Hi, hi Sawyer. Are you at Disney World? Hi, Ms. Pineo. Hi, Ms. Pineo. Hi, Hannah. Is that your teacher? Yeah. Oh, no. Hi, Ms. I'm just going to stand up here. Hi. What are you trying to do? I'm just going to open. They get to shut it off. Hi. 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 and do the